evening all hope everybody's well um package in today um which uh, mike blocker sent to me mike thank you very much um some tins of virginia woods and um i must be honest i was really curious to see what the dates on the tins would be on these because i have made some london fog from a current tin from 2017 and whilst it's very good and it tastes pretty much the same it's not as good as the older one obviously the older one is much smoother um and the creamier that one was something like 20 years old the virginia woods and the the orlick golden slides also was aged and i have no idea how old that was i still have one tin of of the old um orlick golden slides but i don't have any more of the aged uh, virginia woods so um so i was a little bit nervous anyway most of them are 17 but there are a couple from 2016 which i'm very happy about so i'll certainly start with those once i finish my current batch of london fog um so Mike, thank you very much. Mike also sent me a koozie from his favorite, uh, I assume that's his football team. Um, I don't know if that's his local BNM or not. Five points bottle shop. Cool. And a little pro note. These little beauties look great. Love the tin presentation. Glad to help out and you'll have to send me the recipe for London Fog. Is it one to one? Pretty much it is one to one, um, but I'll be sending you a little bit more than a recipe to London Fog. Um, but these, in case anybody's got any of these lying around, please send them on because I put them to very good use. And I'll show you what I mean. Being a photographer, I've got loads of little drives, backup drives, external drives, hard drives. I just put my little drives into there. They're the perfect size for the small hard drives. Um, and that's what I do with them. So if uh, I need some more of these, so if you've got any knocking around, I'll be more than happy to accept them. Um, these are my little hard drive koozies. So thank you very much. Plus, Mike, being ever thoughtful, also sent me a little pack of 9mm filters. Peterson ones as well, which is very, very generous. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of filters, <coughs> I'm about to have a bottle of Penzance, which I haven't had for a while now. But all this fuss about the uh, special Latakia flake, I thought I'd do a little um, comparison and, and uh, not, not a video comparison, just to myself. So I'm going to smoke some Penzance, and I usually smoke it in this, but I haven't smoked this since I went over to filters. Um, so what I usually did, this is a calabash pipe from Phil Rivara, beautiful, obviously. Um, what I usually did was I would take a pipe cleaner, cut it in half, and roll it up and then put it in the middle there. I've done a video on that before. So if you have a calabash pipe or you've got any way of accessing the interior of your pipe, whether it be a reverse calabash or a regular calabash, putting that inside just soaks up all the moisture. This one, I used to get a bit of gurgle. And when I put this in, so it was about half the pipe cleaner, something like that. And I would just wedge it in at the bottom there and no gurgle whatsoever. But now, um, in terms of filtration, I have nothing in there. So what I'm going to try and do now is roll up a whole pipe cleaner. And I'm going to place it in. And then I'm going to roll up another one. Which to my mind will do exactly the same thing. The only thing with this is that you do need to remember to remove them. Because the centre, the core of these is metal. It's a little bit of wire which is then enrobed with this uh, fluffy material so that's going to corrode so you don't want to be in breathing in well not breathing in you're not inhaling but you certainly don't want to be smoking rusty metal so let's see if it'll fit there we go there was a little bit of resistance there so just loosen it up a little bit might be a little bit too much there so we'll take one out. But I think that will be pretty much as good as. Yeah, that one looks better. Pretty much as good as a filter, so we'll see how that goes. I will let you know. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this bowl. Cheers. Catch you on the next one, Mike. Awesome, thank you very, very much. Um, I will find a way to repay you. I know you don't want it and you won't want it. 
and you're a good friend and you do it for friendship but um, one good turn deserves another catch you soon in fact on the next one <laughs>